Hello there, Nick here. Welcome to Shadow Moon. In the month of April, we will be talking, taking a look at Lamellar and Plate Mill. A brief history of Lamellar. Lamellar is a series of overlapping plates called lamellae that are stitched together with either a cloth or leather lace. Lamellae traditionally can be made with made of curbouille, horn, bone, or steel. Per ant guard rule, book lamellae must be made from steel either 18 gauge or 16 gauge for heavy gauge. Lamellar armor has a really long history and has been used by ancient tribal hunters all through to the Byzantine Empire after the fall of Rome all the way to the 19th century and the end of the samurai. For our tests, we are going to be using the steels and gauges used in the Amp Guard rulebook. The Amp Guard rulebook modifiers for lamellar, fluted, heavy gauge, and superior overlap. So I am most definitely lick, Nick, not lick. I am most definitely Nick, and to you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Now we have out here. Both of our samples of lamellar that we're going to be testing tonight. This is flat lamellar. This isn't. Uh, this isn't fluted. This isn't any other modifiers on it. Here we have our plates. As you can see, this is our 16 gauge and our 18 gauge. This is just a bunch of steel plates that have been laced together using a leather lace. It's very flexible. And it's usually used to cover the body um, in any non-moving segments. You don't use these on elbows or uh, on shoulders when you're doing plate mail. This is just for the body or the arms, the sleeves, or the legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take a sword swing, see if we can break one of the leather lines, and see if we can cause this to fail with just a sword. Such a good sword. I think I dulled it. It's barely holding together. These are all tied at the top and bottoms. So even if this breaks, it's not gonna fail the whole piece. It's actually holding pretty well. There we go. As you can see, we did have a blowout. We had two of them. Uh, this is especially targeting the actual leather lacing. Uh, this isn't the way it's normally laced. The lacing usually only shows up in little short bursts. With this blowout. Don't mind our neighbors. Just playing with a moped, apparently. Scary mopeds because they've seen the axe. <laughs> This guy here is also gone. So we're just gonna tie that off. Somehow got past the knot and undid it. There we go. All in all though, he's still perfectly fine. It's like a pinprick, it's great. All right. So, this here's managed to stand up. Almost gotten cut when I did the second piece. Stand up to the sword. Let's test out the ax.
Decent dent. Decent dent, but it's still holding. That's really just compression. <laughs> um, yeah. Because of the way it deformed, it allowed more of the force to go through on an individual tile rather than taking it and spreading it out across the entirety. So let's take another swing. Similar results? Similar results and this here it's just it's coming apart. The leather lacing isn't even Yep. Right through. Oh, that's from previous te previous test. Okay. So normal gauge isn't going to get you very far. Here's the heavy gauge. The lacing is still blowing out, but holding together a lot, a lot better. Let's see if the Corbeil can punch through it. Single plate. It's a mess. Still a decent hole. Mm. Oh, the bounce. Yeah, uh, and a big hole. The, uh, the leather is in pretty decent condition, but, uh... Uh, you wouldn't. Yeah. Your leathery bits are in good condition, but the leather bits for the armor is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, on a stab or a corbeal, it's going to miss the string entirely and still hold together, but... That's going to be a bit of a poke from that weapon. You're not dead, though. Well... Let's see if John can correct that problem. <laughs> Lord, Lord Valiant. I think we lost some plates below. That one hurt. Oh, just slightly. That's a lot of penetration. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to try the blade on it? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, jeez. How's the axe? Fine. <laughs> The armor hurts. You want me to hit it with a spot where I haven't previously hit? Yeah, because that... I'm not sure if it's split wider because you hit it, or... Yeah, flip it around. There you go. Let's do that. Take two with the blade. There we go. Well, it didn't cut through, but you're definitely broken. I just want to point out to on the camera. He managed to do enough force to this log to completely dislodge the bark. Like, you can still see the wet spots on it. Yay for vibration! Your insides would not fare so well. No. Bad vibration. Your liver is less resilient than this log. You can actually see the top edge of the plate that he drove in. Yeah. The ouch. But it didn't cut through. I'd be really interested to see what your axe does if we had like a pig that we could hang. Mm hmm Just We don't we we won't need a knife. No. <laughs> That's it, you're serving you're serving uh, <laughs> dinner for Yule. You can slice the ham any way you like. Alright. Thanks for joining us guys. Next week we're doing fluted lamellar. And then we're going to be doing plate mail. 
And we're going to be doing fluid plate mail right after that. And that'll end this season, I believe. Unless, of course, you guys have any suggestions for armor, please do let us know. Thank you very much, and have yourself a great night.